Hello boys and girls, uh, this is teacher Regan. Once again, welcome to Easy Elimu, uh, where learning is simplified. So in our previous session, we discussed number sequence generally, and we said number sequence is simply a series of numbers that are arranged horizontally in a particular order, and of course, following a particular rule, depending on whoever came up with that particular number sequence. So today, I want us to discuss how to come up or create a number sequence. How to come up or create a number sequence. So you can simply say, creating a number sequence, creating a number sequence, refers to coming up with a consistent arrangement consistent arrangement of numbers following a particular particular rule. So you are coming up with a consistent arrangement of numbers coming up, of course, following a particular rule. So if you are able to do that, then whatever you are going to come up with is what we call a number sequence. For example, for example, let me give you a very simple example. So in this case, the examiner will tell you the rule, or you can equally, yeah, we'll tell you the rule. So for example, starting, starting with starting with 8,100, come up with number sequence a number sequence a number sequence containing containing allow me to continue here containing the first five numbers or values then in bracket i can tell you the rule subtract subtract 100 the rule is subtract 100 so i will write here solution so the key word in my equation is rule and the number of numbers that are supposed or the number of terms in my sequence so the first five terms or we can call it the first five terms or the first five numbers at your level so those are the key words so i will have starting with 8100 i'll have x y and all allow me to use uh uh have me b c D and E. Those uh, variables will denote my subsequent terms after applying the rule. So I will have 8100 to get the next one. Uh -huh. To get um, B, B will be 8000, 8100 minus 100 i will get 8000 then my c will be 8000 minus 100 i will get 7900 then d will be 7900 minus 100 i will get 7800 then finally e will be 7800 minus 100 i will get 7700 Therefore, 
Therefore, my number sequence becomes 8100. 8000. I've been told to write up to the fifth term. 8000. After 8000, we have 7900. 7800. And finally, 7700. So, by so doing, I have come up with a number sequence following the rule as given by the examiner. Another example, what if, what if the examiner just tells you, the examiner says, Question by the question, another example. Question Teacher Peter, Teacher Peter wrote the following number sequence, the following number sequence. on the board identify the rule the values represented by letters if the rule is to is to multiply the prime numbers starting from first first one huh? so this is the number sequence that teacher peter wrote this is the number sequence that teacher peter wrote so a b c d E, F. So that is the number sequence represented by letters. And we have to identify or rather determine the values, the actual values that are represented by the letters in that particular number sequence. And we have been told that in order to come up with those values, we have to double or rather multiply the prime numbers by two, starting from the first prime number. So solution solution we already have our rule rule multiply our rule is multiply the prime numbers prime numbers by 2 starting from the first one so if our prime number if the first, if the first prime number is 2, then we shall have our A, first of all, we shall have 2, 3, 5, how many are they? 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six. So that means we have to identify the first six prime numbers. Two, three, five, seven, eleven, and thirteen. Hence, hence, our A will be two times two, that is four. 
our b is 3 times 2 that is 6 our c will be 5 times 2 that is 10 our d will be 7 times 2 that is 14 our e finally will be not really d e and f 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So our E will be 11 times 2, that is 22. Then our F will be 13 times 2, that is 26. Therefore, our number sequence, our number sequence, allow me to use this section, our number sequence, will be 4, 6, 10, 14, 22, and 26. So that is our number sequence. So we are followed the rule in order to be able to come up with that. So that is uh, all we have to discuss regarding how to create a number sequence. There is no any standard formula that you can use here. You just have to follow the rule. In some instances, you can be told, starting with the 500, come up with the first five terms in the number sequence, and the rule is to add 100. Then you should, your first term becomes 500. Then you add 100 subsequently until you get your fifth term. If you're able to do that, then you'll be able to come or create a number sequence. Any question? Okay, if you do not have a question, just take these two questions for me, for your personal uh, revision. Take these questions. Number one, questions. Number one, create a number sequence made up, made up of the first five prime numbers. between 50 to 100. So your rule is to use only the first prime numbers between 50 to 100. Then next here, starting with 6,000 and adding 2000 consistently come up create a number sequence create a number sequence made up made up of six terms made up of six terms so do those questions and many more questions that you can come across during your personal or individual revision. Otherwise, that marks the end of our topic on number sequence and creating of number sequence. I wish you all the best and see you next time. Thank you.